Steering a ship in the way she should go would be almost impossible without the mariner's compass. So this way please for a closer inspection. The binnacle or compass box is mounted on a solid brass casting. On top is the housing spun out of a wide strip of brass and curved, that is delicately wasted, on tapered rollers. Sailormen were always keen judges of a comely waist, even on a compass. On the disc or card are the markings by which the mariner sets his course or boxes the compass. It's mounted on a pivot tipped with iridium, which can be sharply pointed but doesn't corrode. The compass is mechanically boxed before the skipper boxes it nautically. But the mariner's compass is distracted by other magnetic bodies and some corrective means have to be found. The disc itself is balanced on gimbals that keep it level in all weathers. In front of the compass is the flinders bar, which rectifies the magnetic pull of the ship's funnel. And around it is grouped a mass of iron to counteract the pull from other metallic parts of the ship. It's a scientific job for the compass adjuster. Underneath are the magnets that neutralize the attraction of the ship's steel hull. A final examination, a little adjustment here and there, and the compass is ready for a practical test under working conditions. On the River Clyde, the ship is swung about until the skipper is satisfied that the instrument responds only to the true magnetic north.